Hey guys, happy holiday! Today we are making three kinds of slice and bake Christmas cookies, Christmas tree, reindeer, and present box. So let's get started! To make the cookie dough, mix soft butter, powdered sugar, and salt together until it gets smooth and add whole egg and yolk and mix. First, it looks separated like this, but keep mixing and it will look nice and smooth. Sift cake flour and almond flour together. And add that into the bowl and mix until they are evenly incorporated. Check one last time to see if the dough is even and it is done. Set aside about two thirds of the whole dough to cover the designs later and divide the rest into three and color each of them with yellow, brown and green. Today I picked yellow color for the box but the color didn't really stand out, especially after it's baked. So I recommend making the color darker or using a different color. Take a tiny bit of the dough from the plain dough that we set aside earlier, and this is gonna be red. We're gonna need that for reindeer nose and ribbon for the presents. First, let's work on the Christmas tree, make a triangle shape. About a few years ago, I shared how to make Christmas tree slice and bake cookies. I focused more on being precise. So with that method, it takes a lot more time to complete the cookies. So today I wanted to share probably the easiest way to shape a Christmas tree. Use anything with sharp corner like this and curve the surface. Today I curved pretty deep, but you don't have to. I think it's easier to curve shallower with more zigzags, but really you can decide as you like. and make a rectangle shape with round for the tree truck. Combine egg white and water to make the egg wash. Attach a little bit of the dough and egg wash so that it sticks better. And connect the truck and the green body. First, let's make the face part. The dough is very soft at room temperature, so chill that in the fridge and come back. It's gonna be so much easier to shape it. And make the ears using the rest of the brown dough. Attach them to the head using a little bit of the dough and egg wash. For the present box, make a square shape with yellow. And after it's frozen, cut off the side to create more clean square shape. Divide a plain dough that we set aside earlier into three and cover each of the designs with them. Ensure that each designs are completely frozen when you do this to avoid squishing the shape when you are afraid of the dough getting soft as you do this, just cover the design all around thinly first, freeze it, and cover the rest of the plain dough. And that is what I did today. I designed each log to be about 15 centimeter with 4 centimeter diameter, but I wanted to say that you don't have to stick to it when you're making it with kids or especially if it might stress you out. And I like to use a peeler to adjust the shape. If you find one of the log is too big, you can peel off the surface and attach it to somewhere else. Brush egg wash all around the surface and attach sprinkles. and slice. Slice with 5mm intervals. 
When you do this, ensure that the dough is frozen to cut very clean and to avoid squishing the shape. Roll the red dough very thinly. Don't forget to set aside a small amount for the reindeer nose. Brush egg wash and attach sprinkles. And slice to make the ribbon stripes. And here is the sprinkles I used today for the Christmas tree and reindeers. You can pick any sprinkles you like. And if you don't have a time, you can make this decoration part very simple. Chill the dough completely in the fridge until right before you bake them to prevent them from spreading more in the oven. And it is complete. is so fun to make but I gotta admit it takes some time it takes a good amount of time so if you don't have a time and if you want to make it quicker I suggest to pick just one design from the tree and it's gonna make the process a lot easier and last year I shared three other kinds of slice and bake Christmas cookies Santa Santa boots and Christmas wreath. So if you haven't checked it out yet, please do. You can pick one from that video as well. It's nice to have crispy cookies, but be careful not to bake these cookies too long because the surface starts getting toasted and the vivid colors doesn't show as much as it should be. So for these cookies, I always stop baking before the surface starts getting toasted or when the edges is slightly toasted. You can make this dough ahead and store in the fridge or freezer. Just leave it at room temperature ahead to make it soften. To store these cookies, put them in an airtight container and leave it at room temperature or in the fridge. And when you're planning to share these cookies as a gift in a plastic bag or in a cookie box, especially when they might not eat right away, I recommend putting silica gel in it, which helps to absorb all the moistures in the box or in the plastic bag and keep the cookies nice and crispy. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're gonna have a wonderful Christmas. Enjoy pastry living, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.